everyone, I'm Sarah of Birch Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a double crochet cluster stitch and this particular double crochet cluster stitch is made by working uh, double crochet two together stitches. It creates a fun texture uh, and a solid fabric. If you uh, take a look, you can once you're finished your fabric, you can run hands over the front and over the back, and you will find that the texture is the same, and it looks the same on both sides. It's a wonderful stitch to work. I'd love to hear how you would use it in the comments below. Today for this stitch tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and links to uh, these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video you will find a link to the free written and photo tutorial that is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, while you're here take a look around and I invite you to subscribe to my channel as well. It's updated weekly with stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns. So let's uh, grab our hooks and our yarn and uh, learn how to crochet this double crochet cluster stitch. Our double crochet cluster stitch today is worked in rows. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot and then chain a foundation chain. And your foundation chain can have any even number of stitches. So you're going to want multiples of two. I am going to crochet a total of 20 stitches for my chain today. and 20. Once you have your chain the length that you would like we're going to work a, a starting row of single crochet stitches. So into the second chain from your hook count in one two, work a single crochet and then one single crochet into each chain all the way down. When you come to the end you can chain one and turn your work. Once you have chained one and turned your work, you're ready to start row two. And this is where we're going to work the first of our cluster stitches. So the first thing you're going to do is to work one single crochet into the first stitch. So that stitch right there at the base of your turning chain, work one single crochet stitch. Into the next stitch, you're going to work a double crochet two together. To work the double crochet two together, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to then repeat that yarn over. Now insert the hook into that same stitch. So we're not actually working two stitches together. We're still working in that same stitch. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Four loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. Then next into the next stitch work one single crochet stitch. What that's going to do is it's going to push your little cluster stitch there out toward the uh, what's actually the front of your work although it doesn't really matter for this piece but it's going to push it forward and give it a little bit of a pop of texture. You're then going to repeat that all the way across. So double crochet two together, except only one into, so it's a double crochet cluster stitch into that next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Repeat that, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all four, or sorry, two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the remaining three. 
next single crochet into the next stitch. So repeat that all the way across working a final single crochet stitch into that last single crochet of your row. At the end of this row you can then chain one and turn your work. This is my single crochet into the final stitch. Chain one and turn your work. You are now going to essentially for the rest of the pattern repeat that last row. Repeat that row two. So single crochet into the first stitch followed by the double crochet cluster stitch into the next. Repeat that single crochet in the next stitch and double crochet cluster into the next. And that's all there is to working this double crochet cluster stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next week for another crochet stitch tutorial. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.